opposite to this angle is qr so bc by qr so you can choose one angle suppose you have chosen this b angle then what you will say for this angle this is the right side side this is the right side ab so the corresponding to b is q so right side of uh, this q is pq so ratio of ab by pq okay bc by qr equal to ac by pr okay so this is the uh, criteria now <clears throat> we will discuss uh, the criteria of similarity of triangle see different different uh, this is the <clears throat> criteria when you have the information of angles and you have the information of ratio of the side but there are the problems in which we have uh, sometimes the information of the angle sometimes we have information of the side sometimes we have a information of one angle one side so in that case what we should do okay so for that case we will study different different criteria a a a similarity criteria for two triangles a a a similarity criteria for two triangles so a a a means angle 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 okay angle 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 similarity so two triangle suppose this is one triangle okay and this is another triangle suppose this is the triangle abc this is triangle pqr this is triangle abc this is triangle pqr these two triangles will be similar these two triangles will be similar when this angle a is equal to angle p angle a is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle q and angle c is equal to angle r angle c is equal to angle r what is the meaning of the angle c angle c means this angle what is the meaning of angle q angle q means this angle so if this criteria is fulfilled if this criteria is fulfilled then you can say that triangle abc and pqr will be similar so this is known as the angle 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 similarity criteria angle 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 similarity criteria similarity criteria angle 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 similarity criteria so basically you can say that triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr so it means that na if the corresponding angles if the corresponding angles are equal all the three corresponding angles of a triangle are equal to another triangle then it means that ratio of the corresponding sides will automatically equal ratio of the corresponding side will be automatically equal okay so remember this point here if corresponding angles are equal a a a similarity a a a similarity then you can say corresponding side ratio what is the meaning of corresponding side ratio ab by pq ac by pr and bc by qr okay so ab by pq ab by pq is equal to take any angle so i am taking angle a so ab by pq equal to ac by pr equal to ac by pr this is equal to bc by qr bc by qr 
So this is BC, this is QR. Must be equal. Must be equal. Okay, so this is your <coughs> angle, angle, angle similarity criteria for two triangle. If three corresponding angles of two triangles are equal, then it means that uh, the triangles are similar triangles. Triangles are the similar triangles. So another criteria is AA similarity criteria. AA similarity criteria. What is the meaning of AA similarity criteria? See here. Suppose this is a triangle and this is another triangle. This is a this is a triangle ABC. This is a triangle PQR. Okay. If I am saying this angle is 60 degree, this angle is 55 degree, and this angle is 60 degree of this triangle, this angle is 55 degree of this triangle. So AA similar in AA similarity criteria. If two corresponding angles of triangles are equal, then also, then also the two triangle will be similar. See how this will happen, how this will happen. This is 60, this is 55. What will be this angle? <clears throat> 60 plus 55 plus suppose this angle is X. Okay. Is equal to 180. Okay. So when you will calculate, it will become 60 plus 105, so 180 and 105, this is uh, 115, 45 degree, okay? Not 45, 5 and 65 degree. This angle will be 65 degree, okay? So basically, third angle will automatically cross uh, equal, okay? So this angle will be 65 degree. This angle will also be 65 degree. This angle will also be 65 degree. So here also, now in this triangle and in this triangle, angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C that we have find it out with the help of these two angles is equal to the angle R that we have find it out with the, find it out with the help of these two angles. So we can write if two angles of two triangle, if two angles of two triangles are equal, then these triangles are similar. Then these triangles are similar okay why there is a similarity because in this case also when two angles of two triangles will be equal then third angle will automatically be equal then you can say angle a is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle q angle c is equal to angle r this condition will be fulfilled and I have told you if this, this condition will be fulfilled, then if this condition is fulfilled here, angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R. If this con Now this condition is filled, so you can say triangle ABC is, is similar to triangle, similar to triangle PQR. Okay, so I am removing it because this angle will automatically equal. So triangle ABC, triangle ABC will be similar to triangle PQR. So you can write here if two angles of a triangles are equal, two angles of a two triangles are equal, then automatically third angle will be also equal. So you can write here if two angles of two triangles, two angles 
of two triangles are equal see here here two angles this angle and this angle this angle and this angle are equal of this triangle and of this triangle okay so you can say that equal then third angle of both triangles both triangle must be equal must be equal so see third angle must be equal this is 65 degree this is also 65 degree so angle c and angle r also equal okay so this is your angle angle similarity criteria for two triangle angle angle similarity criteria for two triangle another case <clears throat> side s s s similarity criteria for two triangle means if three sides three corresponding sides the ratio of the three corresponding side of two triangles are equal then you can say that those two triangles will be similar okay so we can take two triangles this is first triangle this is another triangle and suppose this is pqr this is abc so you can say if pq is equal to ab pq divided by ab is equal to qr divided by bc is equal to pr divided by ac if this condition is followed then you can say two triangles will be similar then you can say triangle abc similar to triangle pqr and this is why s s s side 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 similarity criteria azan hello yes sir are you getting yes sir see here pq divided by ab this is pq this is ab so pq divided by ab is equal to qr divided by bc so qr divided by bc is equal to pr divided by ac pr divided by ac then you can say triangle pqr is similar to abc or triangle abc is similar to pqr so this will be the condition here so you can write if you want to write that if corresponding side is corresp if corresponding sides of two triangles two triangles are in same ratio are in same ratio then there then there earlier what i have told you in this case a a similarity criteria if corresponding angles are equal then side ratio of the side equal that now i am saying if, if ratio of the side equal then angles corresponding angles automatically becomes equal okay if corresponding sides of a two triangle are in same ratio then their corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding angles are equal
so if two triangles are given suppose this is one triangle this is another triangle two triangles are given for example this is abc triangle this is pqr triangle this side ab is given 2 bc is given 3 ac is given 4 this is 4 this is 8 this is 6 now take the ratio of the corresponding side that is ab by pq ab by pq what is ab by P pq 2 by 4 means 1 by 2 now take bc by qr bc by qr ratio of the corresponding side so corresponding to bc this is qr so bc by qr uh, 3 by 8 3 by 8 <clears throat> actually in this case na uh, we have to first analyze this is your ab this is your ab and this is your pq this is your ab this is your pq <clears throat> and uh, hmm, just a minute actually this is wrong here three and this is six and this will be eight so now take ratio of the corresponding side this is ab by pq so ab by pq what you will get 2 by 4 it is equal to 1 by 2 bc by qr bc by qr is equal to 3 by 6 this will be again 1 by 2 ac by pq ac by pq this is 4 by 8 this is again 1 by 2 so now see ab by pq is equal to bc by qr is equal to ac by pq that is equal to 1 by 2 so you can say that here ab by pq is equal to bc by qr is equal to ac by pq and that is equal to half so ratio of the corresponding sides are equal then ratio of suppose this angle will be theta 1 so this angle also will be theta 1 suppose this angle will be theta 2 so this angle will also be theta 2 if this angle is theta 3 this angle will also be theta 3 okay okay so now you can note down one by one
completed azan yes sir done sir hmm? okay completed azan for your writing yes sir done done should i scroll yes sir okay write down So basically this is angle p this is angle p ask me to scroll down when completed okay okay sir hmm so all these concept we will, will apply to solve the questions okay हजान समझ में आ रहा है आपके सो बेसिकली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टू ट्राइंगल्स ओनली टू ट्राइंगल्स ओनली ओके सो बेसिकली uh why uh the side or why the angle we are deciding whether the triangles are similar or not whether the triangles are similar or not
स्क्रॉल डाउन ओके बेटर राइट राइट ऑन दिस फर्स्ट write down the heading also okay right head this is the heading and after that you should write this okay so Scroll down. No, sir. One. Okay, okay. completed no sir okay no okay very good now there is one more criteria that is side angle side criteria side angle side i will help uh, i will explain this with the help of one example and this is also very easy this is one triangle another triangle okay one triangle another triangle suppose this is triangle abc 
This is triangle PQR. Suppose your AB is two and your uh, AC is three and this angle is suppose 60 degree. And suppose your, your PQ is four and for this triangle second and PR is six and this angle is 60 degree. And see here, this is side angle side means ratio of the two corresponding side will be equal. And if one of the angle is equal, if one of the angle is equal, this angle A is angle is equal to the angle P here. Here angle A is equal to angle P. Okay. Here angle A is equal to angle P. If this, if this will be the condition, if this angle will be equal and ratio of the corresponding side of this angle, ratio of AB by PQ, ratio of AB by PQ, uh, what will be the ratio? 2 by 4, that is 1 by 2. Okay. Ratio of this side, AC by P PR, AC by PR, AC by PR. This is also 1 by 2. Okay. This is also 1 by 2. So, this ratio is equal. This AB by PQ. With respect to this angle, you have to see now, this is the angle 60 degree. See the left side that is AB. This is 60 degree. See the left side PQ. So AB by PQ. This is 60 degree. See the right side AC. This is 60 degree. See the right side PR. So this will be equal to AC by PR, AC by PR. So if this condition is fulfilled, then you can say your triangle ABC will be similar to triangle PQR, triangle PQR, triangle PQR. So this is a sign of similarity of triangle, sign of similarity of triangle. Now we will solve the question. Now we will solve the question. First question. This is the question they are saying that in figure, this is the figure given. If this PQ, this PQ is parallel to RS. If this PQ is parallel to RS, prove that triangle POQ, triangle POQ, POQ is similar. This is a sign of similar, similar to triangle SOR. Triangle SOR means this triangle and this triangle are similar. We have to prove that. They are saying, they are saying this PQ is parallel to RS. So what is the given condition? What is the given condition? Given condition is PQ is parallel to uh, RS. See, this PQ is parallel to RS. So now see, now see. Remember this point. If this PQ is parallel to this RS, so this angle will be equal to this angle and this angle will be equal to this angle. Okay. These are the alternate angles. These are the alternate angles. If this is the condition, this is PQ and this PQ is parallel to RS as I am drawing a line, line like this. Suppose this is a, a line, this is another line. And if two lines are like this, two lines are like this. These are two parallel lines. This is first parallel line. This is another parallel line. Okay. So what here, if I join end of one line to another end of one line, we know that this angle will be equal to this angle. Okay. This angle will be equal to this angle. Suppose this is theta. So this will also be theta. Okay. Now, so basically this theta is equal to theta is known as the alternate angle. Okay. So here, suppose this is A and this is B. So here angle A is equal to angle B. Why these are equal? Because this line AP is parallel to BQ. 
okay because line ap parallel to bq okay suppose if you are joining this if you are joining this this end of the line to this end then in that case same case will be there this angle will also be equal to this angle suppose this is angle theta 2 so this will be also theta 2 so you can say angle p is equal to angle q so this is the case here so here what is happening alternate angles this angle p will be equal to angle s oh sorry this angle p is equal to angle s why because this pq is parallel to rs so we can write angle p is equal to angle s and angle q is equal to angle r why these are alternate angles these are alternate angles these are alternate angles now there is one more thing here there is one more thing in this question see this angle uh, this angle and this angle these are vertically opposite angle these are vertically opposite angle okay so you can say that angle poq angle poq is equal to angle angle poq is equal to angle ros is equal to angle ros d why why because these are vertically opposite angle okay vertically opposite angles these are vertically opposite angles so now see in this triangle three corresponding angles are equal you can say that these two triangles will be similar so by aaa similarity you can say by angle 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 similarity similarity you can say that triangle pq poq what they are asking poq is similar to sor poq is similar to triangle sor so three corresponding angles this angle is equal to this angle this is the first triangle this is another triangle this p angle is equal to s first angle equal this q angle is equal to r two angle equal this angle equal to this three angles are equal similarity proved by angle 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 similarity criteria so write down write down first so in the next class we will solve more questions first write down this and please now uh, don't miss the miss any class Azan completed? No sir, one. Okay.
done sir done okay so write down the answer of this question there is no requirement to write down the question if you want to write then you can write otherwise you will get this question in chapter number 6 example number 4 Done. Okay, so next question we will solve. Example number five. See, this is given. This is given. So basically, we have to find the angle P. We have to find this angle. Suppose this angle is theta, and this theta we want to. So, and uh, uh, first see both the triangles. See both the triangles. So I can say that uh, three sides are given. So uh, first we will check. First we will check whether the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. Here you have to apply your mind little bit. Here you have to apply your mind little bit. Okay. See, uh, this is AC. This is AC. and this is pr this is ac and this is pr so what you do take this triangle and rotate this triangle 180 degree rotate this triangle 180 degree when you will rotate this triangle 180 degree this second triangle i am talking about when you will rotate this triangle 180 degree okay just a minute what i am doing i am do, uh, doing this triangle and i have just rotated this triangle 180 degree so i know this is not the exact shape of the triangle but i want to tell you what will happen uh, when you will rotate it one, uh, 180 degree this q will be here this q will be here and this p will be here and this r will be here okay okay so your qp this will remain 12 But this will be changed. This is seven point six, and this is six root three. Got it? Now see this triangle and this triangle. Now see this triangle and this triangle. Take the ratio of the corresponding side. A B, A B by R Q, A B by R Q. What is A B? Three point eight. R Q is seven point six. It will be one by two. Now see. bc by uh, bc by qr uh, this is bc this is bc divided by qp bc divided by qp 
BC divided by QP. So what is BC? Six QP is twelve. This is again one by two. Now see this side. AC divided by RP. AC divided by RP. Okay. So this is AC divided by RP. RP. What is AC? AC is three root three. What is RP? RP is six root three. This is equal to one by two. Now you can see here ratio of the corresponding sides equal. Ratio of the corresponding sides equal. Your AB by RQ is equal to BC by QP is equal to AC by RP. So here you have what you have done. You have rotated triangle second by one eighty degree. Okay, it means that it means that all corresponding angles will be equal. It means that corros corresponding angles will be equal. Will be equal. Okay, now see what will be the corresponding angles. Okay, so here see here. Uh, this corresponding to AB, this side is RQ. RQ is the side, so this angle will be eighty degree. This angle will be eighty degree, and this angle will be sixty degree. Okay. Now we can find this angle is eighty. This is sixty. So what will be this angle? Sixty degree? No. Forty degree? So angle P will be forty degree. So corresponding angles will also be equal. So angle P is equal to forty degree. Got it? Okay. Write down fast. Azan, have you understood this concept? Question. Yes. I have just rotated the triangle so that we can take the ratio of the corresponding sides. Just write down. Thank you. Done. Okay, Azan. So that's all for today.